Have you ever opened a bag of rice and noticed tiny bits of sand or small stones mixed in it? Or maybe when rice is freshly processed from this field, you have seen some stones or bits of sand particles in it. Or what about pouring a glass of water and only to find sediments or muddy bits at the bottom, impure water. So can we actually eat or drink these things without getting rid of those unwanted bits? Well. Before we start cooking or drinking, we usually spend some time cleaning our ingredients. But how do we remove stuff like sand from rice or these sediments from impure water? That's where separation technique comes in. These are simple methods we use to sort out and remove things we don't want in our food or drinks. By doing this, we are making sure what we consume is safe and tasty. In the upcoming videos, we'll explore some of these techniques like hand picking, sieving, winnowing, decantation and sedimentation and filtration. We'll see how they help us in our daily life to keep our food and water clean. Let's get started. All right, so we're going to talk about one of the simplest ways to remove unwanted stuff from our food. Have you ever opened a bag of rice and noticed tiny stones or bits of sand or maybe some discolored grains mixed in it? So we need to remove these unwanted material from our food sources or ingredients. It's really handy when impurities are big enough to see and easy to pick out. We often do this at home without even thinking about it. Maybe you've seen your grandparents or parents sorting through rice to remove impurities like uh, small stones, husk, dust or even bits of straw from the rice. This method where we use our fingers to pick out unwanted materials. I repeat unwanted materials from our food source or the ingredients is known as hand picking. Just as the term suggests, hand picking involves picking and removing impurities from our hands. That's it. Can you think of other times we use hand picking? Take a pause. Think about a couple of situations where you use hand picking knowingly or unknowingly in your daily life related to food. Like when you're sorting through a bowl of nuts to remove shells, bad nuts from a bowl of nuts. You're using the method of hand picking. When you're picking wilted leaves, wilted leaves, picking wilted leaves from a bunch of spinach, from a bunch of spinach leaves, you are using the technique of hand picking again. You all have eaten watermelon, right? So when you're removing the seeds of watermelon from a watermelon slice, as you see here, you're using the technique of hand picking. Removing seeds from watermelon is hand picking. You're pick using your hand, picking out the unwanted seeds, removing it, making your food tastier and better for consuming. This simple technique of hand picking helps ensure our food is clean and safe to eat and it is one of the most basic separation methods we use in our daily life especially when the unwanted particles are visible and can be easily separated like you see in these examples all right so in hand picking we removed unwanted particles from our food ingredients because they were big enough and visually distinct making them easy to spot and remove but what if unwanted particles are smaller, fine dust or small lumps of flour? In such cases, we use a separation technique or method called sieving. We have a tool which looks like this called a sieve. When we perform the sieving process as you see in this picture, the larger particles, maybe it could be a small lumps of flour, stays at the top while the finer floor pass through and are collected below. So sieving helps us separate larger particles from the finer materials we need. It is an efficient way to ensure our ingredients that we use to prepare food are clean and free from smaller impurities that we cannot actually pick through our hand. So to summarize the separation techniques that we learned in this video first we looked at hand picking which is actually a very simple technique using our fingers to pick 
unwanted articles or unwanted materials. Then we saw another method called sieving for separating finer particles using sieve which is a tool that looks like this. Now in hand picking it is easier when the particles that need to be removed are big enough and are visually distinct whereas sieving is used when the unwanted particles or the particle that need to be removed are finer or lumps of floor which cannot be hand picked and removed.